Hey guys, Perigi here and in this video I want to reply to this question which I recently received via email since I believe it's going to help many students who are looking to get into UI UX design clear their mind as to some of the most common questions which you have at the beginning and add that I myself had when I first started out over nine years ago. So the situation is that uh, this uh, person is trying to get into UI UX design and uh, he's struggling to see where he needs to go and if this field is uh, for him. So the very first uh, part uh, is essentially figuring out if UI UX design is for you and that is a totally legit question. And uh, one of my best suggestions would be when you're first starting out, just try and create uh, some uh, personal projects or even do some projects for family and friends friends and uh, just play around with uh, the software. I remember when I first started out, uh, I used to play around with uh, Photoshop. I used to love drawing and uh, doing illustrations and uh, trying to like simplify data and stuff like that. So that is where I really figured out that uh, I wanted to become a designer in one way, shape or form. I didn't really know that I wanted to become a UI UX designer. I was also looking forward to web design or also graphic design. But uh, in the end, uh, I basically followed this path of experimentation and that led to where I am today. So I would personally recommend you to just play around with uh, the softwares and things of that nature and that is going to definitely help you out and clear your mind as to what you really enjoy doing. And that is really, really important. You have to be passionate about uh, what uh, you're pursuing because that's going to help a bunch. Now, that being said, uh, the very first, the very second part uh, would be uh, how do I know if uh, I should continue designing? Because I saw a lot of design of people design websites and apps uh, for Fiverr for a small price uh, and know even more stuff than me. And uh, why would someone want to hire me over those guys? So there's a few things that you have to consider. First of all, different clients have different needs and uh, not every client is going to look for a fiber gig in order to solve uh, a specific problem plus the fiber gigs in particular they're just gigs so they're not uh, really focusing uh, on uh, the grand scheme and the grand picture and uh, they're going to be really tailored to a very specific uh, uh, segment of clients who are looking for something cheap uh, and fast uh, for the very most part and uh, I would say that also there's a lot uh, of uh, um, cons with that and pros as well. But uh, generally speaking, you shouldn't think that Fiverr or you know all these uh, other platforms that offer cheap design or that those are the world that each and every client is going to go there because uh, otherwise uh, you know all the designers will be on Fiverr. That's uh, totally not the case. There's tons and tons of opportunity out there and especially successful businesses and, and businesses which uh, are scaling or are at already at a certain scale, they have different needs than uh, what you might think that uh, um, like uh, a, a simple gig is going to offer. So they're going to be looking for more personalized tailor-made solutions which are going to work uh, at scale and uh, uh, they also want uh, a one-on-one -on -one connection with uh, the designer and uh, there's just a lot uh, more going on which uh, is not just purely like sending over a wireframe and receiving a visual design so don't be afraid of that there's plenty of opportunity out there and there's definitely plenty of work and when it comes to the second part of the question is why would someone want to hire me over those guys or in general um that is essentially you know uh that's a very good question and you're going to have to go through the process of essentially learning your skill set your craft and then basically building up a portfolio which is going to be better and better as time goes on and as you accumulate more experience and knowledge. So it's pretty similar as in uh, each and every field. You always start from the bottom, you have to gather experience and then the more experience you gather, the more you can uh, uh, increase your rates and you can work on uh, bigger projects or simply projects where you can make a, a bigger impact. And then uh, essentially it's going to be a gradual increase uh, from there. So there really isn't like a, um, a shortcut around it. You have to, first of all, learn the theory and also the uh, practical aspects such as the design softwares and all those uh, elements right there. 
Then you have to create a portfolio, which is going to attract uh, usually at, at the beginning, either free clients or very low paying clients. And uh, you want to do some, uh, um, uh, you want to do some projects and gather experience. And then the more experience you have, the better your portfolio becomes, the better clients you're going to attract uh, and uh, it's going to snowball from there. So my very best recommendation is to just keep going, keep up your motivation. And uh, there's going to be hard times like in uh, any uh, thing that you, that you learn, but it's definitely going to be worth it if you're passionate about this field. So hope this video was helpful. And uh, I want to remind you that on my channel I have over 400 other videos sharing my over nine years of experience working as a UI UX designer. So feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.